This is the Boeing 737 MAX 10, an aircraft that has established new benchmarks in the realm of medium-haul commercial aviation. The history of the Boeing 737 MAX is a tapestry of innovation, ambition, and tragedy. Launched in 2011 as the fourth generation of the popular 737 series, the MAX was initially met with high expectations. Boeing's primary intent was to offer a fuel-efficient, long-range aircraft that could compete directly with the Airbus A320 NEO series. However, the MAX's journey took a dark turn with two tragic crashes, both of which were linked to a then-new flight control system called the MCAS. Designed to compensate for the aircraft's altered center of gravity due to its larger engines. Unfortunately, a series of design, oversight, and communication failures led to the system's malfunction, contributing to the crashes and resulting in a global grounding of the entire 737 MAX fleet. Since its ungrounding, the 737 MAX has been slowly regaining the confidence of airlines and passengers. Several modifications have been made to the MCAAs and other systems to ensure higher safety standards. Stay with us until the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 737 MAX 10. Starting off with the cabin dimensions, the MAX 10 offers a cabin width of 11 feet 7 inches or 3.53 meters. The typical two-class configuration allows for a seating capacity of 188 to 204 passengers with a six abreast setup in a 3-3 configuration. The aisle width sits at about 20 inches or 50 centimeters, making it reasonably comfortable for passengers to maneuver, although still trailing behind the A320neo's more generous aisle space. In terms of material, Boeing has opted for advanced carbon composite materials, and LED mood lighting is standard. The walls and ceilings have been recontoured to give an illusion of added space, and the overhead bins are constructed to maximize carry-on luggage capacity. Specifically, Boeing's space bins can hold up to 50% more than standard pivot bins, accommodating six standard size bags. What stands out in the cabin is its reduced noise and vibration levels. The noise reducing chevrons on the engine nacelles and the use of acoustic lining in the cabin sidewalls contribute to a quieter travel experience compared to predecessors. However, it's worth mentioning that some reviews have reported a slightly more noticeable engine hum compared to the A320neo. For the tech-savvy traveler, the in-flight entertainment and connectivity options are quite expansive. Most configurations offer seatback entertainment screens measuring 10 inches, equipped with USB ports and a fairly responsive user interface. In-flight Wi-Fi is typically available, although its performance can be variable depending on the service provider. One of the key technical innovations is the cabin pressurization system, which maintains a cabin altitude of 6,500 feet or 2,000 meters, higher than most comparable single-aisle aircraft. Moreover, the air circulation is aided by HEPA filters that significantly improve air quality. As for the seats themselves, they come with a pitch ranging from 31 to 35 inches or 78 to 88 centimeters in economy class. While they allow for more legroom and incorporate a modicum of ergonomics in their design, the padding can be on the thinner side, which may cause discomfort on longer flights. The windows measure approximately 11 by 14 inches or 28 by 35 centimeters, similar to its predecessor, the 737NG series. However, it's worth mentioning that the window placement sits relatively low, requiring passengers to lean down to get a proper outside view, which could be a slight drawback for those who enjoy aerial sightseeing. The galley is generally well-equipped, adhering to industry standards. Given that this aircraft is predominantly used for short to medium-haul flights, the galley serves its purpose efficiently, but without any extravagant amenities. There are typically two lavatories on board, Although functional, they are on the smaller side, measuring around 34 by 77 inches or 85 by 195 centimeters. The cockpit layout of the 737 MAX 10 follows the fundamental architecture of the 737 family, but incorporates advanced features. Spaciously designed for a two-pilot operation, the cockpit has a width of 8 feet 9 inches or 2.67 meters and a height of 6 feet 5 inches or 1.95 meters. The well-organized flight deck eliminates clutter, 
streamlining operations and reducing pilot workload. The avionics suite is powered by the Honeywell Epic system, which includes multiple LCD screens that measure 15.1 inches diagonally, each providing high-resolution displays with LED backlighting. These screens offer a modular and customizable interface that is intuitively designed, giving pilots easier access to flight parameters, navigation metrics, and system statuses, all in real time. One of the standout features is the Enhanced Flight Management System, which offers advanced navigation capabilities, including required navigation performance and area navigation, that allow for more efficient and flexible routing. This system can auto-calculate various parameters like fuel efficiency and thrust settings, significantly optimizing performance. The cockpit also features a synthetic vision system, which provides a three-dimensional depiction of the terrain, runways, and obstacles, providing an extra layer of situational awareness, particularly during low visibility conditions. When linked with the Traffic Collision Avoidance System, it also displays surrounding traffic in real time, which can be indispensable in congested airspaces. The MAX-10 retains a traditional yoke control system, unlike Airbus models which employ a side stick. However, it incorporates a partial fly-by-wire system that electronically controls spoilers and certain other surfaces. While this doesn't fully eliminate manual controls, it does provide an added level of electronic fine-tuning that can enhance control accuracy and responsiveness. The Advanced Autopilot system supports various modes including vertical navigation, lateral navigation, and coupled go-around, which significantly ease the pilot's workload during critical flight phases. Additionally, the autothrottle is refined to manage engine power more efficiently adapting to various phases of flight from takeoff to landing. For communications, the cockpit is equipped with state-of-the-art VHF radios, satellite communications, and controller pilot data link communications, which allow for seamless communication between the aircraft and air traffic control, as well as real-time data sharing that can be crucial for flight safety and efficiency. Another compelling feature is the onboard diagnostic system, capable of real-time fault detection and reporting. This system can flag any mechanical or electronic issues and can often suggest remedial actions, aiding in quicker resolution of problems and potentially reducing ground time for repairs. The 737 MAX 10 is powered by the CFM International Leap 1B engines. These high-bypass turbofan engines are remarkable for their efficiency and are designed to optimize fuel consumption. The engine's fan diameter measures 70 inches, or 1.75 meters, making it significantly larger compared to the older CFM 56 engines found on previous 737 models. Moreover, the Leap 1B utilizes composite fan blades and a more aerodynamically optimized engine nacelle, contributing to its overall efficiency. The takeoff distance for the MAX-10 under standard conditions is approximately 8,300 feet or 2,530 meters. The engine's high thrust-to-weight ratio enables this shorter takeoff distance, particularly useful for operations at airports with shorter runways or at higher elevations where air density becomes a significant factor. The initial rate of climb per minute is impressive, standing at around 3,500 feet or 1,067 meters per minute, offering a rapid transition to cruising altitude. The Leap 1B engines play a critical role here their advanced design ensuring maximum thrust output with minimal fuel consumption during this phase. The MAX-10 boasts a maximum service ceiling of 41,000 feet or 12,500 meters, which allows for more efficient fuel consumption and smoother cruising, and provides the capability to fly above most weather systems, thereby offering a more comfortable ride. In terms of speed, the MAX-10 is capable of a maximum cruising speed of Mach 0.82 or around 530 knots, which is comparable to other aircraft in its class. One of the key attributes of the 737 MAX-10 is its range, extending up to 3,300 nautical miles or 6,112 kilometers when fully fueled. This range extension has been achieved through aerodynamic improvements and the engine's fuel efficiency making the MAX-10 suitable for transcontinental routes and opening up new market opportunities for airlines. When it comes to payload, 
the Max 10 can carry up to 45,070 pounds or 20,450 kilograms in a typical two-class configuration. The aircraft's advanced materials and structural engineering contribute to its ability to manage such a hefty payload while still maintaining its range and fuel efficiency metrics. Lastly, the landing distance of the 737 MAX 10 stands at around 6,400 feet or 1,950 meters under standard conditions. The aircraft employs state-of-the-art winglets and flaps, allowing for a more controlled descent and landing. The wheel brakes are equally sophisticated, employing carbon braking systems that are both lightweight and highly effective in bringing the aircraft to a stop. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Boeing 737 MAX 10 is $150 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.